Last week on Friday, the Game Awards celebrated gaming in all of 2019. But it was not only giving up awards in that show, it was a hell lot of more announcements as well. Game Awards is a celebration of video games every single year, with awards being handed over for various different categories such as the best action game, the best ongoing game, the best multiplayer games and more and also Game of the Year. But this show was only awards in it because there were world premieres, new announcements and Green Day performance. The biggest announcement came from Xbox, which was Xbox's new console, Xbox Series X. Which is Phil Spencer with the most fastest and powerful Xbox, which will set a new bar for performance, speed, and reliability. According to Phil Spencer, Microsoft's 15 game studios are making a game hai for Xbox Series X to make the largest and most diverse lineup of exclusivity in Xbox history. Now, when you look at the console, it doesn't look like a console because it's more like a PC tower or a PC case. But it would be interesting to see what the actual price is when it comes next year. Now, Microsoft has also committed that their games will be coming to Windows 10. And not only that, because the games are also coming in Xbox Game Pass. So, this means that the studios are making a game to make an exclusive game, will be available on PC? Not so sure about that but there's one game that is for sure coming to Xbox Series X and that is a sequel to Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Ninja Theory is coming back to its second game ke liye in the Hellblade series named Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. The trailer doesn't reveal much but it won't be straying too far away from its roots. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice told the tale of a Celtic warrior battling Viking-esque undead in a dark and gloomy world, but it also took on the challenge of portraying mental health struggles in a sensitive and effective manner. This game is a single or well-maintained concept, so this is a sequel banana is a surprising thing. But since first game was such a big hit, I have all the faith in Ninja Theory or Sif Mirai Nai because Microsoft ke paas pura faith hai because they let them announce the sequel in the Game Awards. Obviously, Hellblade Senua Sacrifice is one of the best games that was created by Ninja Theory. And if you haven't played it, you guys should definitely check it out because it's a piece of art and I'm so excited for the second game coming very soon. With League of Legends winning the best esports title, there are two more new games in the same universe of League of Legends announced in the Game Awards. One is Ruined King, which is developed by Darksiders ke developer. Se. Ruined Kings is a turn based RPG set after Burning Tides, and we'll play as League of Legends champions as we explore Bilgewater and Shadow Isles, which is sure to include a number of champions from those locations, including Thresh, who voiced the announcement trailer. This game has no release date, nahi hai, but it can be assumed that next year this game will come. And this game is made for PC and console for both of them. The other game is called Convergence or Conv slash Urgence. There is no one from Which is a League of Legends platformer developed by Double Stallion Games. And in this game you play as Echo, a young inventor from League of Legends who has created a device that can manipulate Time and the story will explore huge consequences of messing around with time. Time to become Barry Allen now. Now, this is an action platformer ka game in which Echo will be exploring the streets of Zon, which is an undercity hai of pollution and crimes. Now, all of this is part of Riot Forge, which is Riot Games' new publishing brand. Joki new games are based on the universe of League of Legends, but they will be making different developers. Right now, Riot Games is working on fighting game, an action RPG, and a card game. A lot is in store for League of Legends fan, and I think that next year and the coming years, League of Legends fan will be best. Hoga. With Tall Tall Games being destroyed last year because of heavy work pressure and nobody wants to work there basically, a lot of people lost jobs and authorization on various projects. And some games were the ones that announced, ho the, but released nahi ho sakte the because the studio was shutting down. But then this year in August, Tall Tall Games re-emerged with a new management and a much smaller team obviously. And now in the Game Awards, they announced Wolf Among Us Season 2 for the love of God is actually happening. A teaser shows Big B smoking in neon lit room 
which is kind of their art style as well and someone off screen asked for help abhi tak is game ka koi release date nahi hai but i hope ki ye game ko ekdam acche se banaya jaye and they don't have to rush in to release the game Bigby, can i count on you Wolf Among Us Total Games का बेस्ट गेम है अकॉर्डिंग टू मी और उस गेम में इतना अच्छा थ्रिलर है सस्पेंस है एंड मिस्ट्री है और अगर आप लोगों ने Wolf Among Us नहीं खेला है इट इज फ्री राइट नाउ ऑन एपिक स्टोर सो डाउनलोड एंड प्ले दिस ब्यूटिफुल गेम ना अपेरेंटली दैट्स नॉट दी ओनली गेम कमिंग बैक फ्रॉम टोटल गेम्स बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू जिमाथसु A press release announcing noir style visual makeover and graphic update of the Batman Tall Tall series is also happening. और उसके साथ ही एक री रिलीज भी होने वाला है नेम्ड शेडो एडिशन विच वॉज क्वाइटली पोस्टेड बाय द वेबसाइट ऑफ एंथलॉन गेम्स एंड देन क्विकली रिमूव्ड डिलीटेड प्रेस रिलीज के हिसाब से बैटमैन शेडो एडिशन विल कंटेन बोथ बैटमैन गेम्स फ्रॉम टॉल टॉल एज वेल एज द न्यू डीएलसी विल बी अवेलेबल इन स्टीम एंड एपिक स्टोर फॉर थर्टी डॉलर और उसके साथ ही डीएलसी भी आप अलग से खरीद सकते हैं फॉर फाइव डॉलर ओनली The press release also quotes from Tall Tall CEO Jamie Ortley saying this is just the beginning in a much more expansive plan to build on our catalog of Tall Tall Games title which we hope to discuss in further detail in the coming months अब इसका क्या मतलब हो सकता है टॉल टॉल गेम के लिए क्या वो और गेम्स लाने वाले हैं वापस या वो लोग अपने स्टूडियो को फिर से बनाने वाले हैं वेल ओनली टाइम विल टेल नाउ देयर वर सम रियली कूल मोमेंट्स इन द गेम अवार्ड्स एंड वन ऑफ देम बीइंग She has to be protected at all cost guys she has to be protected but there was another cool game that was announced by a chinese developer named 24 entertainment and the game name is called Naraka Blade Point now this game is a multiplayer melee combat and it's also more open than i thought it would be because it promises a boundless movement system where you can climb hang wall run and aided by aim whatever you want grappling hook Combat is the core of this game और स्टूडियो के हिसाब से ये गेम सोफिस्टिकेटेड भी होने वाला है पर बिगिनर्स के लिए भी ये गेम अच्छा रहेगा इट विल ऑल्सो हैव वॉट साउंड लाइक ए यूनिक ब्लॉक एंड पैरिस सिस्टम क्योंकि इस गेम में कोई बटन नहीं है डेडिकेटेड फॉर ब्लॉकिंग इसका मतलब बेस्ड ऑन मूवमेंट ही आप अटैक्स को ब्लॉक कर सकते हो विच इज चैलेंजिंग टू बी ऑनेस्ट Now apart from fighting against other players you can also explore this island which has splendid landscape and beauty all around This game will let players feel every attack and utilize everything in their skill set and armory to achieve victory. This game does look very interesting aur ye bahut similar hai dusre games ke hisab se jo ki hai Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima but fighting games like these are well welcomed and I can't wait for early 2020 for this game to release which to be honest is actually listed right now on Steam. Ab dekhna ye hoga ki ye multiplayer melee combat game कैसा खेला जाता है एंड विल इट बी फन टू एक्चुअली प्ले दिस गेम आई फॉर वन कैन नॉट वेट देर आर मोर न्यू गेम अनाउंसमेंट डन इन गेम अवार्ड सो वाई नॉट लिस दम वन बाय वन ए न्यू टैक्टिकल बेस्ड शूटर नेम नाइन टू फाइव विच इज बिंग डेवलप बाय रेड हिल गेम्स ए स्टूडियो विच इज फॉर्म लास्ट ईयर बाय द फॉर्मर सीईओ ऑफ रेमेडी This game is set in the near future where corporations rule everything and employ mercenaries to get things done when boredom negotiations fall through. Matches in 9 to 5 put three teams to three players against each other in three round contests with changing objectives. Sons of Forest ek naya sequel hai to the game Forest jo ki a survival game hai jisko abhi bahut positive reviews mil rahe hain and this game seems like it's a demon hunting game in those wild and terrifying forest. Nothing else has been revealed for this game so not so sure how it will be played. Player Unknown ka ek naya game aa raha hai aur uska ek first teaser aaya jo ki itna sundar dikh raha tha ki बस उतना ही देखने को मिला क्योंकि इट वाज़ अ थर्टी सेकंड टीजर व्हिच पिक्स द फर्स्ट पर्सन कैरेक्टर इज लुकिंग एट द फॉरेस्ट एंड इट्स नेम्ड प्रोलॉग द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट सेज दैट इट्स एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड गेम प्ले दैट कैन ब्रिंग प्लेयर्स बैक एवरी सिंगल टाइम Fast and Furious has a new game called Crossroads which is coming to Steam next year and also Fast 9 which is it's not a game The game will have Michelle Rodriguez, Vin Diesel and some of the cast of Fast and Furious Developed by Slightly Mad Studios and published by Bandai Namco, and will feature fast cars, explosion, and the usual Fast and Furious stuff. Magic Legends is a new MMO RPG where you will explore amazing worlds, combat powerful creatures, and meet the legendary beings that shape the fate of multiverse. 
Godfall is a new third person action RPG coming next year to Epic Store and PlayStation 5 and it will utilize high impact third person melee combat to engage players as they hunt for loot, legendary armor sets and defeat vicious enemies. Final Fantasy 7 का एक remake आने वाला है on PlayStation 4 जो कि आ रहा है March 3rd next year and will be exclusive for one year और उसके बाद शायद PC में भी आने वाला है Weird West is an action RPG game which is being developed by former Arcane bosses who found this new indie developer called Wolf Eye Studios and has a distinct grim dawn vibe to it but sounds more narrative focused where everything counts and the world reacts to the choices you make. Dark Alliance is a D&D action RPG game which is coming to PC for the first time where you are in Icewind Dale and you fight trolls and frost giants which is so exciting. New World is a massive multiplayer RPG game from Amazon Game Studios which loosely mixes real world history and fantasy with thousands of players battling and working together to make a home on dangerous monster ridden island of Aeternum. Well that was all for this episode of Top 5 Gaming News and that was all that was announced in the Game Awards. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Let me know how this episode was and where I can improve. And hit the like button, click on subscribe for more amazing content in Gamer Connect. Join Gamer Connect community on Facebook where you can take part in various discussions and also join Gamer Connect Discord to submit your creations for the next episode of GCS. Check out my YouTube channel as well where I stream from Monday to Friday with a variety of games such as Call of Duty, Apex Legends just to name a few. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. My name is Garen Madness and those were some amazing gaming news.